All right, time for tonight's Real America brought to you by CSX. And tonight I wanted to uh, spend a, an extra bit of time on this because if you're a parent, there is nothing that you won't do to help your child. And when your child is diagnosed with a condition like autism, is there a stone that you would leave unturned? How about if doctors say it's hopeless? Then what do you do? Mary Beth Palo, she turned to herself, proving that a mother's love and determination and intuition can really conquer everything. Brett Palo is a lot like most 10 year olds energetic, playful, and he doesn't always listen to his mom. But as a nationally ranked diver, Brett is used to making a splash. Just don't ask him to do it when the cameras are around. His behavior, typical. His diving, incredible. His story, well, that's just unbelievable. When he was born, he was, he was fine. Um, he was progressing very nicely. Um, we really had no issues with him. Then I think it was around um, 16 months in that vicinity that he ended up getting sick. I guess looking back now, I can see that he progressively just lost language, you know, went into himself. By the age of two, Brett Palo was diagnosed with autism. He was regressing right before his parents' eyes. I didn't even tr think about his future at that point. I, um, I, I think I was so focused on not accepting this. Mary Beth was told to put her son into therapy for 25 hours a week. But after a year and a half, Brett made no progress. He had no verbal skills, he wasn't sleeping. Meanwhile, his family was living a nightmare. I went to a neurologist up at Stony Brook, and after seeing Brett for 10 minutes, she told me to institutionalize him. And I just said, you know what? I'll do this myself, because nobody else is helping me. And, and that was really the turning point. After watching her son's behavior day in, day out, something clicked. It seemed Brett was only happy when he was watching television. So Mary Beth made a television show out of everyday life. Taping everyday family activities, Brett watched the videos intensely. Mary Beth watched a breakthrough. I can still remember it. Uh, he was upstairs in his little therapy room with his therapist, and I just said to him, hey, Brett, you know, what are you doing? And I was just expecting the usual silence, or, you know, maybe I would get a glance, but nothing else. And uh, he did. He looked up at me like I was an idiot and said, I'm coloring. In those two words, Mary Beth knew she was getting her son back. Brett's imitation of video didn't stop with home movies. He loved Olympic diving, began to imitate Greg Lugano. Now, the 10-year-old boy who Mary Beth was once told to institutionalize is a self-taught diving champion. You know, he talks about his future and what he wants to do. Um, and he talks about getting married. And um, whoever marries him is going to be one very lucky girl. Joining me now is Stephanie Thomas. She is on the uh, board of directors of Watch Me Learn, is a personal friend of Mary Beth, and has witnessed changes um, in the family firsthand. First of all, what, uh, we have no idea what causes autism, and it's the fastest growing disease in children, right? A developmental disorder. It is the fastest growing developmental disorder in okay. childhood. Is there any. How, how many more children have been affected by this? How come I haven't heard about this? Well, it is getting more and more prevalent, the information that's coming out of universities that are doing research. And, there, and all it is is, I mean, it's imitation, but does it ever, but then it does somehow or another turn into creation to where they imitate, are they imitating it first? You mean on the video? No, when the kids are watching yes. and they're doing nothing, are they first imitating yes and then it becomes creation somehow a switch just goes on yes that's correct and you know a lot of people have been concerned about video based training for kids with autism because of the concern that they will fall into a pattern of it's called echolalia and that is the um, repeating that you're talking about but that's a typical stage of language development for any child mm -hmm. you know you you'll see a it starts with really gesturing gesturing with you know, infants where they smi smile or you smile at them, they smile back and right. clapping. Um, and so that's something that people should not be fearful of, but rather um, a an important step toward language development and socialization. Okay, so now you guys are making, you make videos of, uh, of, of everyday things or you teach families how to do it or what, what, what exactly? A little bit of both. Um, 
we we definitely have. I mean, when when we sit down and decide what what to do next, the, the list is endless because literally, some of these children you have to teach them their life. You have to teach them to live every day. It's, it's something as simple as turning a, a light switch on is something that we will film and teach. Um, but a parent can, by looking or by watching videos like this and seeing how it's done... Do it themselves. Yes. And, and, and for a lot of children, they like having the you know, familiar faces right. in their, Gosh, their movies. The things that you, you must have seen. I mean, it's... I, you know, I think it would be the worst thing to be a doctor and the best thing to be a doctor, especially with children, you know, mm -hmm. or working with anything like that because you would, it would break your heart, but then you get the best part of it. You get to see massive changes. Yes, we do. And, and um, most significant advances, or, or many, in, in autism have come because of the determination of a parent who's either pushed their doctor to action that you know, she or he's never taken before or has taken matters into their own hands. And, you know, for that, it's a, it's a wonderful environment to work in. Let me, let me tell you something. If you have a child of special needs, I have one, and the doctors told me everything that, that, that was wrong. Never, ever give up. That's tonight's Real Story brought to you by CSX. It's how tomorrow moves.